the mother nation we are the daughters of warriors the sisters of survivors and the mothers of the resilient we are the beautiful indigenous women Mother Nation is a grassroots nonprofit organization. We provide services and mentorship, advocacy, cultural services, and homeless prevention. It's custom designed by, for each participant. So we focus on that cultural part of who they are to regain their cultural identity again. My grandfather and my even my aunts and my cousins, they were stolen right from their mom by white people put into boarding school. They were raped, they were beaten, they weren't allowed to speak their language. They weren't taught how to love, so they didn't teach their children how to love. There was a lot of alcohol and drugs involved and I ended up running away from home. I would steal and I got really good at it. This is how I used to survive on the streets. And when I met the kid's dad, I found somebody who was going to take care of me. And he supported me a lot. He really pushed me through school and helped me finish. And when I finished, I felt so good. We tried our very best to hold our family together, but we didn't stand a chance to even last in a relationship because of the trauma that we both carried. So I ended up in Tennessee with a Cherokee and um, Tuscarora healer, and it changed my whole life. It changed who I was. It really helped with letting go of the historical trauma part of it. It's already tight on here. There's cedar on the other side if you want to grab some and just add it on. They're going to try to find some way to like link it together to make a roof. Get in there. We'll have a nice, it'll smell nice in the next sweat. <laughs> when I first came here, I was drawn to the native nonprofits to gain knowledge of the community of where I'm at and to acknowledge the territory I'm on. This is to protect our prayers and our healing. Oh wow, that's amazing. It's a good one. I had a friend, a best friend, that was uh, having issues with her child's school. So I called the school. I said, I'm calling from Native Women in Need. I'm going to be attending the meeting with my friend, and it changed everything for her. I said, you know, I said, look how easy that was. I said, we just called and said, you know, you had support, and they totally changed their demeanor and how they're dealing with you. She goes, yeah. She's our new um, cultural services coordinator. Yeah, she's going to be working with Arlene for the house and for the community. When a person walks in our office, They'll see their intake case manager, but they'll also be seeing um, our cultural services team as well. Because without cultural identity and without healing, there's no chance for us as Native people. And we've helped women who have been chronically homeless for five years, 10 years. We pray together, we share our songs, we share our knowledge, and it's a safe place for them to come to, you know, release whatever's going on with them at that time. I know that if I wasn't here in this home, I wouldn't have my own home today. We've helped 300 women in the past two years. And it's not a high number because it's not like, um, it's not an assembly line. <laughs> Sometimes women, they heal faster than the others. They have to want it. They have to be able to be ready for it. And once they get into our mentorship program, we invest in them and they become successful and they find their place in their path. They get their housing. They get their children back. They have employment and they start living their life. Mm -hmm.